Torben Sondergaard's life and ministry would take a dramatic turn when Danish TV approached him and said it wanted to do a profile of his ministry. It sounded like it could be very positive. It wasn't. Danish TV sent not only a film crew, it also sent two undercover reporters into Torben's ministry. The result was a news documentary called God's Best Children. It lumped Torben in with other so-called radical Christian ministries that it had serious moral or ethical failures or even criminal activity. When I saw that, I was like, I'm, I'm finished now. No one will ever trust me again. Doing, Brother John here. Welcome to the Heresy Hunter, where exposed deceptions, lies, and blasphemous teachings with the light of the Lord, the Bible, and a lot of common sense. All right, so I had my video banned worldwide, <laughs> not just in the United States or Canada or Europe. Eh? They banned me the whole worldwide. So apparently, they don't want this video to get out. But uh, we're gonna, if you're watching it right now, I got it through. I had to change a bunch of things. I had to do some screenshots, and we're gonna get through this video. So let's just get into it. This is about a. Uh, Torben Soundguard. Now, I've never heard of this guy before, but apparently he's pretty popular. Torben is the author and founder of the Last Reformation. Yes, Kickstart Package. Okay, so let's just get into this video. So, this is on his own YouTube, and we're going to be looking at this total, absolute debacle fiasco. So, here it is here. Healing under fire. Tons leg got healed, but later ampl amputated. So, like, literally, he's got this, there's a major kerfuffle, and they did all these articles on the fact that he claimed this guy got healed. He had him walking, riding bicycles, walking without his walking cast, it's supposed to be in a wheelchair, and he ended up, because he hurt his ankle, they had to ampl amputee his leg. And the most shocking part of it is we're going to be looking at the latest video that was just posted one day ago. Amazing miracle. He's doing it at a rest stop. Once again, he's got, he's taking canes away from people and having them walk on their injured limbs claiming that it's a healing we're going to expose it all today and uh well let's just get into it we'll watch this is the sh this is his little shim sham show we'll watch it and then um this is a shocking video in the name of jesus i commanded pain to go all pain come out last thing go 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 last thing go come out go right on last thing come out there's freedom there's freedom touch okay we're gonna watch the whole thing but just just so we're all on the same page okay when you have pain, it is a symptom of what is wrong with you, okay? We pray for what's wrong with somebody. We don't pay for the, the pain. This is a stage show, a performance. You can see the guy with the camera. Everybody's watching him. He's got all his eyes on him, okay? The fact of the matter, he has pain. He's in a walking cast because he's injured. So we pray. I believe in healing. I, you know, I was baptized, dedicated to Pentecostal church, but I don't care if you're a cessationist. We all believe in healing. God heals today, okay? We ask the Lord for healing all the time, okay? And in God's sovereign will, He heals, all right? This is, we're talking about a performance right now, and that's what I'm exposing. And like I said, these performances, I don't know, people stop taking the medication, people die because of this, what He's doing right now. So let's watch it again, and then, uh, like I said, this video actually gets shockinger and shockinger. In the name of Jesus, I commanded pain to go. All pain, come out, last thing go. Go, go, last thing go. Come out, go right on, last thing, come out. There's freedom, there's freedom, touch the wall. How, how, how is it? How is it? Do you feel the pain? No fear. Look at me. No fear. Come, no pain, no pain. No fear, no pain, no pain, no pain, no pain, no fear. Okay, so they took him out of his walking cast, okay, and then took him bike riding, took him down to the water, baptized him. It's kind of like firewalkers, like people that walk on the hot coals, okay? Like mine over metal. We're going to look at it all today. So the video you're about to see, actually, I've got a few more videos we're going to look at first. So I want to touch base on what he said, okay? In the video that I can only show part of it, it says, Tan himself explained that the leg was amputated due to an ankle sprain. Okay, so this guy, literally, this guy is quoted as saying that the reason why they had to cut his leg off is because he sprained his leg. Tan agreed to an interview, but Torben said, okay, so he's still under his control. And that's how these cult leaders work. Okay, you can't say anything. It's the same Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons. 
Um, actually, it was more of the Mormons. They have these in these compounds like David Koresh or Jim Jones, where they have he he's claiming to be the new the last revelation. He's like the end time church. It's all the same. They, these are cult members. Okay, so let's just move on to. I'm going to show you a little bit of clips just while that video is fresh in your mind. And like I said, I can't show you the whole video because it's being banned worldwide. Yes, they don't want you to get this to watch this, but I have it. <laughs> I have part of it. I have the interview that I'm going to show to you. So here it is here. This is what he says. We find a video from Holland where Torben prays for a man in a wheelchair. He expels the demons from the man. The name of the man is Ton. Okay. Ton suffers from severe arthritis. He is not able to walk because of severe pain in his leg. So he should have been, you know, like Christian would pray for the arthritis, not the pain, okay? After the expulsion of the demons, Tun is getting up. Torben, now here's where the trick comes in. So it drags him around the conference hall. Now this is, this is how the psychosomatic and these faith healers work. It's a power of suggestion, okay? Mantra. They, they make eye focus. They're telling, no pain, no pain, no fear, no pain, okay? And everybody's watching him. He gets up. He's in a walking cast. It's only fear. It's fear. It's fear. It's freedom. It's freedom. It's freedom. Can you feel the pain? There is no pain. Okay. There is no fear. No pain. No pain. No pain. No fear. No pain. No fear. No fear. No fear. Well, the fact of the matter is the leg wasn't healed and he, now he's in a walking cast. Okay. So we're going to touch base on, uh, here it is here. This, shockingly enough, this is on his own YouTube. Okay. Torbins. The last reformation. All right, here it says here. Because Dorman prayed for him and made him stand on his damaged leg, the leg is now amputated. Okay. It, shockingly, they, it's, this is right on his own YouTube. He tur overturned the doctor's advice. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Tun told him. They, he's out there riding bicycles. He's getting baptized. He's taking the cast off. He's not He's not in a wheelchair like the doctor told him to because Torben told him that he was healed. No pain, no pain. Get up, no pain. You know, sickness, leave, walk. And and he did. Okay. This is, the these is the rumors that have been spread about Tun. No, well, Tun's the one that has told everybody this. This is common knowledge. All right. You can pause it if you want. So I want to touch base on this because I have done a lot of research about it. If you're unaware, you can do your own research. Okay. Psychosomatic healing. There's also psychosomatic sickness. You can make yourself sick. Even stress, ulcers. Okay. Placebo effect. Hypo. Hyponothera. I don't know that word. Hyponothera. <laughs> I don't know. It's a fancy word. I'm not good with the fancy words, eh? Hypnotist. I got that one. Okay. Law of attraction. Hypnotist. You know, the worst part about it is I wrote that down. I'm not good with I'm edu I'm under educated, right? Law of attraction. Hypnosis. Okay. So the law of a attraction is based on subconscious programming you subconsciously program yourself to achieve a goal and your subconscious does it be best to achieve the goal hypnotherapy works mainly by accessing your subconscious mind so tan didn't feel any pain and he's not lying about that there was no pain but remember he's got torben sandegard within an inch of his face dragging him around the sanctuary everybody's watching him and he's telling him he's healed he's pump just pump full of adrenaline well yeah he's not going to feel any pain that's a fact but we all know if you speak english and have a brain god didn't heal them okay he had to get his leg amputated because of what torben did and that's where this this video gets really shocking wait till you see what he's up to now okay so i want to just touch base on if you're unaware what the placebo effect is this is a little bit informative video to help you understand In 1996, 56 volunteers took part in a study to test a new painkiller called Trivaricane. On each subject, one index finger was covered in the new painkiller, while the other remained untouched. Then, both were squeezed in painful clamps. The subjects reported that the treated finger hurt less than the untreated one. This shouldn't be surprising, except Trivaricane wasn't actually a painkiller just a fake concoction with no pain-easing properties at all. What made the students so sure this dummy drug had worked? The answer lies in the placebo effect, an unexplained phenomenon wherein drugs, treatments, and therapies that aren't supposed to have an effect and are often fake miraculously make people feel better. 
Doctors have used the term placebo since the 1700s. So, from the, for many years now, hundreds of years, they get these tents, these, it, it's snake oil. Another very common trick is to pull somebody's leg a quarter inch, okay? They, they do, it's a shim sham. They, they play with the ankle shoe. All of a sudden, it's a miracle. Well, wait a second. He pulled, why doesn't he go down to an amputee ward? Why isn't he seeing children that have lost their legs pulling their legs? They're pulling people's legs because it's a parlor trick. And I think a lot of Christians can't wrap their head around how diabolically satanic it is because they're, we're called to be innocent as doves and as wise as serpents. The fact of the matter is the Bible is very clear of how diabolically satanic Satan truly is. And his workers, okay, camouflage themselves as workers of righteousness. The end will correspond with their deeds, okay? The Bible's very clear that we should be watching out for these false leaders, false apostolic leaders. What they're going to be doing is performing these performances. And a lot of people, in the Bible is very clear, a lot of people will be deceived by it. Do not be deceived. So let's just keep watching a little bit more of this, and then we'll get to the banned video. When they realized the power of fake drugs to improve people's symptoms, these were administered when proper drugs weren't available, or if someone imagined they were ill. In fact, the word placebo means I shall please in Latin, hinting at a history of placating troubled patients. Placebos had to mimic the real treatments in order to be convincing, so they took the form of sugar pills, water-filled injections, and even sham surgeries. Soon, doctors realized that duping people in this way had another use, in clinical trials. By the 1950s, researchers were using placebos as a standard tool to test new treatments. To evaluate a new drug for and don't underestimate the power of persuasion of the mind, okay? Don't underestimate the power of, of mass media, okay? And, and don't underestimate the power. Of, a lot of these people, like, Torben's kind of like a hack, kind of like, you know, like, he's obviously, like, he's calling out for pain. He's not even, like, biblically, like, even remotely close to a Christian. But there are other people that are better camouflaged at this. They use the laser lights, the transinduction beats, the smoke, the Halloween smoke machines. They get into that mon mantra music, and all of a sudden... They get them up on stage, and then they got the, all the eyes on top of them, and they put the microphone right, right in the... How do you feel? How do you feel now? And, you know, their veins are just pumping full of adrenaline. Well, people lose their lives. People stop taking medication. They start throwing... Even, what was it, Popoff? Peter Popoff had people throwing their medication, their cancer medication, saying you're healed. Literally. And he had a little microphone in his ear, and his wife was giving him information. You have to be on guard. These frauds are out there, okay? And people are losing limbs, okay? Which segues way into what, like this should shock a lot of people. Oh, we're gonna, so okay, so this is the video of the testimony the guy lost his like I had to manipulate the videos to see if we can watch it. All right, here we go. You came to the meeting because you had trouble with your leg. You yeah. wanted to walk again on that yeah. leg. And you experienced healing yeah. in that leg. Yeah. But the leg wasn't healed. Uh, yes, I know. In my mind, I was healed. So my whole body was healed. But it is not the body that the carnal eye can see. But the body wasn't healed because the leg still got no, amputated. The, exactly, but that's what I say. The mind needed, needed to be healed in order that I could lose my leg, my carnal leg, and let my spiritual leg heal. It sounds a little bit strange, maybe, but that is really how I experience it. So what do you think a, a doctor would have said if he had seen you running up the stairs while you were in pain? I think there are two ways of truth. The, the truth that people like to see and the truth that I experience that way and, and I, I want to reiterate that what he just said there's a church a truth what people see or something along the lines and there's a truth that I experience he didn't feel any pain let me reiterate that the power of the placebo effect psychosomatic healing psychosomatic illness you can make yourself ill you add on a microphone and then the, the music and all the eyes on top of you and then you have a powerful evangelist has been on television within a, a few inches of your eyes, looking you straight in the eyes saying, no pain, no fear, no pain, no, it's a hypnotist. And then grabbing onto your arm and charging you up the stage, 
His reality, his truth is he had no pain. That's a fact. Cost him his leg. <laughs> That's a fact. Cost him his leg. Okay. He admitted it. He sprained his ankle. It emptied his leg. Okay. But at the moment of time, while he was in the, the clutches of Torben Soundegard, okay, he had no pain. That's a fact. And, and Torben's not alone. This is happening all over the world. Okay, let's just listen a little bit more and then... This could be one of the most shocking videos I've ever done. What, wait till you see what Torben's doing now. This might actually make some people just sick. My leg is definitely healed. So what you're saying is that when you were healed by the power of God, mm -hmm. he actually didn't want you to be healed. He wanted you to have your leg amputated. No, you're talking no, about no, 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 no. Just say you, no. Don't get, you didn't get healed physically. <laughs> I didn't and get healed. Did. So Torben was dreaming. He said that God started to heal him. Okay, and I, I just don't want to waste my time even listening to that guy. So, let's just move on to what is happening now. And like I said, like I don't even want to show you. It's so diabolically satanic what this man is doing now. And I don't know how many people, how many people have lost legs, limbs, family members because of Torben Soundergard. I honestly don't know. Because I come from this, okay, the Word of Faith movement. I was a Raymond Bible College graduate. Okay, Kenneth Hagin is considered the grandfather of the Word of Faith movement. I grew up with it my whole life, okay. And if you've grown up in that same environment, you'll understand that you never confess that you're sick. You never, even if you have a cold or a sickness, you say, I'm getting better. You don't feel bad, okay. And it's all the power of our words the, that we project this healing, and it's our faith that we don't get healed, and all of this mumbo jumbo, hickety boo, bim bam boo, okay. Reality is that God does heal today, okay? That's a fact. The Bible says if you have the faith of a mustard seed, okay, the smallest amount of faith, if you believe in God and if it's His will to heal you, you'll get healed. Now, ultimately, it's God's sovereign will. All right, here it is here. Amazing miracle. This just came out yesterday. This is posted all over social media on his YouTube, his Facebook. Healing, cut, paste, post, miraculous healing. Wait till you listen to what this guy says. It's... I'm only going to play a little bit of it, but here it is. You can, I'll leave the link in the description, okay? You, you have every, already, fall every words. time I put weight on this leg, there's only 2% of this ball left. Yeah. There's only 5% of the socket left. They tell me that if I move wrong, that this is going to come apart. Okay, l listen again. 2% of the ball, the socket, if he moves wrong, he will lose his foot, okay? Torben shows up. He's got his sound crew, or sorry, his video crew. He's very well known, okay, finds this guy, and he causes him to have no pain and takes his cane. So let's listen to it. You, you have already, fall every words. time I put weight on this leg, there's only 2% of this ball left. Yeah. There's only 5% of the socket left. They tell me that if I move wrong, that this is going to come apart. Yeah and that they're never going to be able to fix it again. Uh, that they'll have to put a whole new ball uh, and socket in. Uh, I had to, I support myself. This is my support. This is my lifeline to life. Uh, without it, I couldn't have got from there to here without falling down. Uh, and try to walk, let your wife see. How is it to see him? I, I don't, honey, I'm not hurting. Look, well, yeah. Okay, so he's got Torben there. Remember, he's been very conscious of the fact he has the energy injury but you know you know you you protect yourself you know you have that wisdom he's got the cane never leaves house he's walk being get very careful the pain torben comes along okay i'm walking without any pain i can't believe this i swear this is I beautiful can't. the lord has got to be so wonderfully generous i guess that i have died twice and the lord has brought me back <laughs> Uh, and you just brought me back to another person. I feel like I'm maybe 30 years old again. Um, <laughs> we, he had been, do not have any pain. Uh, you just somebody that doesn't God. have pain has no idea. You have been somebody walking around and sitting time. down yeah. and going around like a young man, <laughs> and, oh. and and he was walking like like it's difficult to describe how he was walking. I saw him walk into this restroom, and when I saw him walk, I saw I thought. Mm. <laughs> I actually was a little afraid, to be honest. When he walked like that, I thought, it's really bad. But, but God did it. God did a miracle. God did amazing work. You know, you would think after having to...
do interviews and fiascos of people having amputees because of leg injuries that he would have the consciousness to like say you know I'm Torben Soundergaard let's go to the hospital if you feel that God has healed you I'm not going to take your cane and have you walk on it on your bad foot that you've been so gently protecting all this time it's ludicrous it's ludicrous but the fact of the matter is there is no conviction to Torben cut paste post to YouTube miraculous healing look at the cane I just picked up this is a very popular shimsham fraud from all these false pastors teachers you know it truly is remarkable there's no conscience for them at all I'm gonna end this video I'm, I'm a little fired up forgive me I it's so diabolically satanic what these people are doing in the name of God can you just think about it you know I pray for all their spiritual victims I truly do with all my heart I pray for their spiritual victims I pray people can escape this deception if you're around Tor Torben Soundergaard he jumps in your face points his hand in your in your eyeballs and starts saying no fear, no fear, no pain, no fear, no fear, and grabs your arm and pulls you onto a stage because you're in a walking cast, okay? Please, don't do it, okay? Use your brain, okay? Oh, all right. 2 Corinthians 11, 14 to 15. And no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It's not surprising. Then, if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness... Their ends will correspond with their actions deserved. I'm not done making videos about Torben's, Torben Soundergaard. Just in my little investigation, like I, I hardly know about his ministry or anything. Everything I see is like red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag, false, 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 false teaching, okay. A cult leader, okay. Hatred towards the true bride of Christ, the churches, you know, like... There's a common love. I don't care if you're a, pa a, a Pentecostal, a Lutheran, a Baptist, whatever church that you're in, we all love one another because we're all brothers and sisters, separated by our denominations, okay? It's it's unity without conformity, okay? We can all agree on certain key, key principles. And one of those is if you have a healing from God, the last thing you do is stop taking your medication. The last thing you do is give up your walking cane or your walking cast and start using it or jumping on your injured limb. That's the first thing that anyone that has half a brain would say. Unfortunately, we have these YouTube sensations like Torby, Torben Soundergaard and people are getting hurt. There's victims out there. So we pray for all those spiritual victims. And we'll move on to another one. I will get to Torben again, but uh, I have a bunch of videos that somebody sent me. So I pray the Lord bless you. Keep you strong in the faith. And always remember, Brother John loves you. Bye.